Hey guys, I'm back and excuse my hair. I took out those wonderful dreads you see me with in the last couple videos and I'm just trying to give my hair a little bit of a break um, until I do my next style. But I am back with a drugstore makeup tutorial. I'm really excited because I love drugstore products. They've actually gotten so much better over the years. Back in the day, people would be like, oh no, I'm not going to CVS to get no makeup. Now, I go there all the time. You can't get me out of the aisle in Walmart where all the makeup is. But anyways, let's get started. Hey guys, so I'm going to start out with Maybelline's Master Primer and Number 100. It's actually a really great primer for matte skin. And then I'm going to go in with L'Oreal's Infallible Pro Matte Foundation and number 111. Just going to use some on my hand and take that great dome brush and apply it all over my face. It does oxidize just a little bit, um, so don't worry, that will go away the yellow hue that you see. Next, I'm gonna use the NYX Eyebrow Gel in number four, which is the Espresso. Be careful with this, cause it is a little dry. Um, so when you see me using it, it doesn't go on as easy as a pomade would, but it is non-transferable. So it's great, great, great if you're doing swimming or you're gonna be sweating in the gym. This is a great eyebrow gel to use. And after doing both, this is the beautiful outcome. Very natural looking for someone that doesn't have any eyebrows at all. Next, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Conceal and number 50, which is their medium dark. I'm gonna conceal just like I have in my other videos, so I didn't film that step, but you do wanna just blend, 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 up and out like always. Next, I'm going to use the L'Oreal La Palette and nude they're number one I'm pretty sure that's how you say it this is so cool because they actually have different ways to use the eyeshadows on the back so I'm gonna use this color right here for all over my lid very generously next I'm gonna use this brown color here just in my crease area to give me a little bit of definition I'm going to use this brown color here, which is a little darker, only on the outside of my crease, just to give me a little smoky look. Not too dark, but just a little smoke. Now I'm going to go on with this rose gold color and just go over right on my eyelid. It's not really the halo effect, but I'm just not bringing it up too much because I don't want to look like a clown, guys. Now when I put that rose gold on, unfortunately I went up a little too far, so I'm going to use the brush I used earlier with the brown just to clean it up a little, not adding any more product. Now I'm going to highlight here with the same concealer I used for my eyebrows and showing you where that is. And I'm going to blend out, patting the concealer into my face and not moving it as much, pushing it in and not spreading it out. Next, I'm going to use the Maybelline Mineral Powder in their Translucent. Sorry, I couldn't really get it to um, clear up for you. But everywhere I put my concealer, I'm going to set with this Translucent Powder. It goes on white, but when you brush it off, it's literally a Translucent. Clear, pretty much.
I did just brush off all that translucent powder. Now I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder and their number 700 Classic Tan just to brush off any excess powder and give myself a little bit of color back since I put so much product on my face already. Next, I'm gonna go in with Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder in number 16, Ebony. This I'm gonna use for my contour. It's a great contour color, guys. It's very deep and very rich, and I actually love it. It really snatches my face. Now, unfortunately, I don't know how to say this next brand. I am so sorry. I'm really embarrassed. But I actually really like their gel liner. It's in their number three ebony color. And it's actually harder to put on, but it allows you to be much more precise, if that makes any sense. Leave some comments below if you'd like me to explain more. My favorite drugstore brand mascara is Maybelline's Great Lash. I've been using this literally since high school, before I even knew anything about makeup. I don't have that long of eyelashes, but man, when I put this bad boy on, whoo, I'll be ready to fly away, girl. <laughs> This right here is actually a staple of mine. I have like five of these. It's the e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. I have tons of them in my client kit and everything. I actually am going to use a little bit of both the gold-ish and silver-ish highlighter. And bam, thank you ma'am, I am in there with the highlight bling. <laughs> I'm really entertaining myself now. Sorry guys. For my lips, I'm going to use Milani's Lip Liner and Spice and Rimmel London's Transfer Proof and Skinny Dipping. I actually really like these two together for my nude look. It will be a little darker on my lighter skin ladies, but these are a great combination for fall. Last but not least, I'm going to use Hard Candy's Fast and Fabulous Setting Spray. It's great if you want to keep your makeup long-lasting and non-transferable. Bam! And I am done. Fabulous! And all in the drugstore, guys. I hope you enjoy. guys i hope you enjoyed and this was very informative go out to your local drugstore and grab some of these products i'm sure i'm sure i'm sure you will not be disappointed don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you later